Hi guys, welcome to Upfront Games. We're on episode 47. Could be right, who knows. I'm just gonna stop even referencing the episodes until we hit like the year, which would be great. Um, all right, so getting right into it, PlayStation's uh, preview trailer this week is going to be SnowRunner. Check this out. This is SnowRunner. The next generation off-road experience featuring unparalleled physics simulation and a massive sandbox world. You are an off-road trucker, braving the wilderness to tackle a wide variety of contracts, explore and discover new locations, and take on a multitude of challenges. Standing in your way is nature itself, with meticulously simulated mud, water, and snow. SnowRunner features a best-in-class physics system that accurately simulates natural terrain and water. Mud, snow, and ice all have their own physical behaviors. They each take into account vehicle weight, tire spin, and even the water content of the terrain, meaning there's a new challenge around every corner. Crossing rivers is particularly treacherous, as water currents are accurately simulated and may completely overwhelm your vehicle. Careful accelerator control and mindful use of the steering wheel are essential, though if needed, your trusty winch can help you out of even the trickiest situations. There are three regions split across 11 open world maps to explore, offering the largest maps in the franchise's history. Each region, Alaska, Michigan, and Tamir, offers its own distinct setting, objectives, and challenges. Freely travel these regions and discover new landmarks, missions, contracts, upgrades for your vehicles, and many other rewards in each new zone you explore. Most contracts and activities can be carried out at your own pace and in the order that you wish. Some will even have an impact on the world around you, facilitating your future travels through the map. These activities can include transporting goods and materials, rescuing vehicles, building bridges, repairing cargo lines or oil pipes, clearing roadblocks to open new paths, and new to the franchise, mega-sized deliveries. More challenging missions can even take you across several maps, linked together by tunnels and highways. This makes planning for the long haul very important. Using the right vehicle and tools for the job is vital. SnowRunner features a huge selection of 40 customizable vehicles, including some of the best-selling and most beloved truck brands in the world. These include Ford, Freightliner, and Caterpillar, with fully realized interiors and physics models. Vehicles can be outfitted with snorkels for deep water traversal, chain tires for attacking snow, and much more. Deep visual customization is also available, with a wide assortment of paints, decals, rims, and lights. Though you're free to progress through the game solo, trucking the untamed wilderness is often a team endeavor. SnowRunner comes with cooperative multiplayer, letting you bring up to three friends along on your outdoor exploits. Additional content is planned for after release, such as new vehicles, maps, regions and activities, alongside console mod support, community modding tools, and a bunch more features. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you in the wilds when SnowRunner releases April 28, 2020 on PlayStation 4. Pre-order the standard or premium edition today to receive the Navistar 5000 MV tractor. All right, guys, that was SnowRunner, and you know I'm I'm kind of excited about this. I played MudRunner, and they look like they've done quite a few improvements to make it uh, worth diving into this title. So mm -hmm. um, I'll definitely see that when it comes out. Uh, my phone is going off over here. All right. Um, so moving into PlayStation news, so Streets of Rage 4 is complete and is done by Lizard Cube, Detemu, and Guard Crush Games. It has 17 characters, including 12 retro characters, 
and five iconic hand-drawn heroes. The characters and art design is definitely refined for 2020, but also staying true to the stances and animations of the series. The refined style definitely looks to bring Streets of Rage into this decade successfully and looks like it's worth a play, so definitely go check that out uh, when it releases on the 30th. Now, um, the Big in Japan sale is now live on PlayStation Store through May 8th. It includes over 100 titles that range from the Final Fantasy series to Earth Defense and Monster Hunter. For some titles offering 60% or more off the title's price, this will be worth checking out if you're looking for something uh, from that realm. Anyway, moving into Xbox, Xbox's preview for the week is Streets of Rage 4. Check this out. Streets of Rage 4 and again you know, I remember playing Streets of Rage when it first came out in an arcade um, so this brings back a lot of memories and it actually looks really good with the way that it's been refined for this release in 2020 so definitely check that out when it releases on the 30th alright we all love a good shooter or fighter but sometimes I'd like to think we like to vacation into a more chill world to build something or create something to watch how it works or runs. So a few of these titles available now on Xbox One or Xbox period include Disneyland Adventures, uh, Farming Simulator 17, Fishing, SimWorld Pro Tour, Human Fall Flat, Minecraft, My Time at Porsche, uh, Pikiniku, The Garden Spin... Between Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, Tracks, the Train Set Game, Viva Pinata, and Zoo Tycoon, to name a few. Now, of course, after building your zoo or building the perfect train set, you can return to shooting the enemy or kicking them in the face. So, alright, uh, Xbox is releasing the e Cyberpunk 2077 Limited Edition bundle of the Xbox One X, and it does look pretty amazing. It includes a customized console with a one terabyte hard drive and it will only ship 45,000 units. You can purchase a controller and charging station that is designed from the game as well today uh, for $74.99 for the controller and $49.99 for the charging station. There are also 2 terabyte and 5 terabyte Seagate HDD options that will be available alongside the console in June of 2020. So when that releases, uh, we've only got that 45,000 that will be sold. So definitely go ahead and check that out if you're interested. It does look pretty amazing. So moving on from Xbox into Nintendo. Nintendo's trailer for the week is moving out. Check this out. You're probably asking yourself, gee, I don't know anything about moving. I'm just a big dum-dum. Well, it's as simple as one, two, three. Lift with your legs or your spine. Carry with care. The world is your obstacle course. Deliver the goods. Shatter delivery records. Move by yourself or with some friends. With a huge team of customizable buddies, you'll go on adventures you've never dreamed of. You never know where moving can take you. The big city, outer space, a promotion to middle management. Moving Out is moving out this April. There's nothing more satisfying than a big, hefty movement. All right, guys, so that was Moving Out. Um, this is from the creators of Tools Up, I believe. It's a really interesting looking title to play around with friends, just a little kind of get together party game. So 
Um, if you're into that sort of thing, definitely check that out when it releases on the 28th. Now, um, Ty the Tasmanian Tiger 5 could happen, but it needs a much bigger budget. So Chrome Studios wants to port 2 and 3 to the Switch of the original performance style as well. Uh, but the question has been raised about a new entry. The studio stated that it would be open, opening, open to creating a fifth entry. Um, however, it would require a much bigger team and a much bigger budget. They would want to do the entry as a 3D platformer and that is where everything gets bigger. They would just have to wait and see if they can get a new entry. Basically, they were also stating that uh, when they did the original uh, games, they had between 20 and 25 people to build them. They're now down to 12. So who knows if we'll see a new entry in the future. Um, that being said, Street Fighter's producer states he's opened more entries on the Switch after EB Games Canada tweet referenced a false Street Fighter V Champion Edition coming to Switch. Questions were raised about an actual Street Fighter title in the wind. Yoshinori Ono has stated if there is an opportunity that makes sense for them, they would consider the Switch again. Right now, Street Fighter V is exclusive to the PS4 and PC, but they do see the Switch as an important platform for their games. So, that being said, uh, we can look forward to maybe a Street Fighter coming out on Switch in the future, if it makes sense for Yoshinori. Oh no, make it make sense. Alright guys, so moving into Stadia, no preview this week. Stadia is now free, they've ditched the name Stadia Base, but the free tier is now fully live for everyone. You'll still have to pay for the pro version to access free titles and 4K visuals, etc. But the free version can now be played, so if you've been itching to try it for free, or want to prove it's worth for yourself, you can do it now and only purchase the game. Now keep in mind you will need a controller that is going to be compatible with your web browser or uh, whatever media you're choosing to use, if it's your smartphone, etc. Alright, um, and I do know some of them, some of the controllers are still requiring to be physically plugged in. Uh, I know the Stadia controller all on certain Phones does need to be plugged in, so keep that in mind. All right, and then Google is hosting a Stadia Connect on 428, and will show off a few new games coming to Stadia, what's next, and hopefully dates for titles already mentioned to release on the platform. Tune in at 9 a.m. Tuesday specific Pacific time to check it out. And that's it, guys. So, um, again, questions, comments, concerns, like, share, Comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next week. Have a good one.